Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at how Gmail works and how it's different than email you may be used to. So a lot of people when they switch over to something like Gmail, they're not used to exactly how it works. And Gmail in particular has some very special characteristics. And once you understand them, they're very useful. But they can be confusing if you've just used traditional types of e types of email like you may have at work or have gotten with your ISP. For instance, one of the important things about Gmail is you never really delete email. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Matter of fact, you shouldn't. You simply archive email. There's plenty of space and they're always giving you more space so you don't have to worry about clearing out space to store more emails. Instead, every piece of email you get is labeled with different things. For instance, it could be labeled as an inbox email or it could be labeled something that you set specifically like having to do with a particular topic. And then you look at email based on the labels it has. So you get a new piece of email that's automatically labeled inbox and you're probably looking at all of your emails labeled inbox. If you don't want to see the email anymore, you're done with it, you can simply remove the inbox label and it won't be in your inbox anymore. So looking at the web-based version of Gmail that you may be using, this is how it works. You have all your labels here on the left and when you have one selected, like I have inbox selected, you see all the email that's labeled with that. So these are all labeled with inbox. If I look at one by clicking on it, you can see here the labels listed and there's one label, inbox. And I could read the email, I could get rid of that label, or I could simply hit archive. And archive is kind of a shortcut for getting rid of the inbox label and removing it from your inbox. It throws me back to the inbox here. I see that email is removed and I have simply this one here. If I look at my labels, I can see all sorts of different things like personal and travel. But I also have all mail. All mail is a special label. If I click on that, it's basically everything I've got, whether it has a label or not. So there's that email I just removed the inbox label from. Here is one that still has the inbox label on it. And it's not very useful to look in all mail because it has everything you've ever gotten. But you can search in it, which is very useful. And the idea is to use search. So you think, wow, if I save everything I've ever gotten, how am I going to find anything? Well, you search for it. You search by the name of the person, contents, and the email. Basically, does a universal search through everything about that email to find things and it's very easy and quick to use. Much better to do it this way than to actually spend all this time up front organizing things by folder. I just throw everything into all mail by getting rid of the labels and I can search for it later. Now how does this work if you're using mail, the app, on your Mac? Well I've set up a Gmail account here as one of my inboxes and it's one of three accounts I've got. Now when I click on it here I can see what's in my inbox. Now it acts as a folder acts as a mailbox but actually just showing me everything I've got that has the label inbox. Now I can go down here and see under Gmail the special labels all listed here as folders. They're not really folders but I can click on all mail and it will show me a list just like I saw before that has all my mail in it whether it has a label or not. I can also look and see other label things. So if I create more labels, say I label an email as important or something like that, it will appear under one of these. So I'm clicking on these basically to have it show me things by label rather than show me things that are in a folder. For instance here, let me go back to this test email and let me add a label to it. I can do that here and I can label it as uh, label1 and it will create it as a new label. And you can see it's there. Let me add label2. So the interesting thing I can do here is I can actually have more than one label on an email. Now I can actually look at everything labeled label 1, everything labeled uh, label 2 there. And if I switch to my regular mail here, uh, after it updates it will actually add the labels here to Gmail. So let me go and have a get mail. And you can see it actually has added these two here. And since they aren't special Gmail type of labels, they're things I've created myself, they're here. And I click on it and it will actually load in everything labeled label 1 and label 2. So the same email, only present once on the server, it's available in two different folders, really labels, here in mail. So it's kind of a little more useful than the traditional folder thing where an email can only be in one place at one time. So to summarize, with Gmail you're using a labels metaphor rather than a folders metaphor, but you're adapting that when you use mail to make the labels look like folders. And you can attach more than one label to a piece of email using the web-based interface. When you're viewing stuff in mail, whether it's the web-based interface or in the app, then you can actually see everything you've ever had in all mail 
and you should leave the stuff there instead of trying to manually delete it. It creates a nice record and you have plenty of space that Google is giving you so you don't have to worry about that. And just keep things in your inbox until you read them or use them and then remove the inbox label by hitting the archive button and now it will be available in all mail. Likewise you could apply another label to it by simply dragging it to a folder that you've created. Create it in the web based interface as a label and then you'll see it appear in mail. So you can create something like uh, you know, work documents or something and then drag the email there and it will add the label to it and take it out of your inbox at the same time. Play around with it a bit. If you're new to using Gmail with the Mail app, play around with it. See what happens when you move email around in different folders uh, and see how you search through all mail to see everything that's there. You'll get the hang of it after a while and it's a very useful, good system for using email. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.